back in front. So right here, we are at the CS 2018 here with a shadow. Hello. So hey. <laughs> so I'm Asher Gagan, the co-founder of Shadow with Stefan Elio and Emmanuel Freund. <laughs> Hi. So uh, this is the dream of the thin client, the supercomputer. What is this? This is basically device that's in a service that will free the gamers from the hardware restraint, so they can. Uh, so right here, you, for example, you, you can play uh, very advanced games uh, on an Intel Xeon server. Right? Intel Xeon server with eight thread. They're getting a 8.2 teraflop NVIDIA high-end card. So and they will always get the latest hardware. So always when a new generation of graphic card will go out, they will get it. So they don't need to care anymore about the hardware. They can access it, as you can see, from any device. That so this is a basic uh, AMD solution you have, right? Yes. AMD CPU. There's no, like, you don't put a Intel C on in here. You don't put a, a uh, NVIDIA GPU in here. It's just a thin client, right? Basically, all in what it's doing is just to decode the video streams that's arriving from the cloud and sending all the input back to the cloud. We choose the AMD APU because it can do 4K at 60 frames per second and 144 frames per second at Full HD, which is something that was quite mandatory for every gamers. 4K at 30? 4K at 60. 4K at 60. At 60 frames per second. Full HD at 144. 144 frames per second. Yes. And over the internet. Over the internet. And we are the only service that's capable to yeah. do this. So what's going on here? You have a cable? It's going to this crappy Las Vegas internet. Yeah. But, <laughs> but how about, uh, what do people need? Because right now you were launched in France, right? Exactly. And also Belgium, some other place? So, we launched, you want to talk a bit about the European launch? Yeah, we launched, we launched in France. We initially launched a very limited batch, like an uh, early bird batch a, a year ago, roughly. Uh, we had 500 units for sale. We sold them out in like 12 hours. Then we uh, bought more equipment, uh, ended up with roughly 5,000, but long story short, we reopened the sales a few weeks ago and now we have 15,000 clients. So people were waiting a little bit? No, not anymore. Initially, so that's... building was... those machines, right? Yeah, and so, okay. Uh, we're building those machines, but they're not really the core of what we sell because what we do sell, in essence, is the service. And so the, the real cool thing about it is you can access the service not just from the box, but from any device. Uh, initially, we had the box as a mandatory thing in our subscription. Now we changed it to a different model where people can select whether they want the box or not. Because we had comment from some users, uh, for example, Mac users, who paid a lot of money for their Mac. Is that very cool Mac, Mac laptop. This is a $5,000 Mac? No, that's no. it. $2,000 or something? I think uh, something like that, $2,000. Yeah. And until now, it could not really play. So it's very nice design computer. It's very... Sexy computer so is this your out, client? But you cannot play, so you have the standard Mac with our client on it, and finally you can get Windows on it. So this is a Witcher, but of course you have full Windows on it that you can launch. So this is running on the server right now? Exactly. exactly. But it feel... The, your story is that it feel like local. It feel like local. You don't see any latency, you don't see any quality Actually, you, degradation. Actually, you say it's faster than local or not? It's, <laughs> that was I in would, the video I saw that. I don't right. understand why you say that. If, basically, because what we are doing is that we are capturing the image once it's ready in the memory of the graphic card. We are not waiting it to be sent to the local display. So a lot of time when we're putting it next to each other, basically the server and the client, we will see that the picture on the client is more updated than the picture on the server. So uh, the game you were playing just before, uh, any game will work, right? So any but game, you're getting a full Windows 10, you can install any game of Steam, Where's any game uh, of that. Adobe Premiere? So here, I don't think they want, install Adobe it, right? Premiere here, but of course you can download Adobe Premiere and install it, you can you do can Photoshop. You can do, you can edit whatever you want on your Mac. Just uh, you can use any software that's supporting Windows, basically. What I want to do is use my Chromebook yes. to edit 4K 60 video. It's the fastest editing system in the world. With right? the shadow, you will not have problem at all to do that. No problem to do that. No problem at all to do that. And it's like really, a, it's like a dream, no? Exactly. Yes, it's really Who's freeing you it? from or any or hardware or constraint. It's really the idea that. You will be able to access your computer from everywhere, from any device, from any screen. Over here is a yeah. tablet. Here. Uh, what is this tablet? Is it an, tablet? is it Android? That's Android tablet. How's the performance? 
So you have a standard Android tablet. You can launch the Shadow application and directly connect to your Shadow and play any kind of AAA game directly. Okay. What's the frame rate? The frame rate of this is 60 frames per second, just because the tablet is supporting only 60 frames per second. But again, if it was 144 uh, screen, it, was, it will work on 144. And the same thing on smart TVs that say, I don't know if you're coming to other booths, but you can, Android TV, you can launch it on your TV to play 4K at 60 frames per second on your TV without any console, without anything connected to your TV. Uh, and other, other smart TV too, Tizen? So we are working for saying? Tizen, we are working smart, to develop an hub. app uh, for Tizen. WebOS? Uh, WebOS we yeah. planning, but really we want to reach Android a status. Best, anyways, right? Exactly, and we want to reach to a status that every device with a screen supporting yeah, uh, our technology. Basically we don't see a, a, a real obstacle in developing new uh, uh, OS uh, apps for OSs, right? So uh, pretty much any connected device we can have a, a, an app for the operating system and then run Shadow One. I think this one is uh, 85, if I'm not wrong. I think this one is 85. Let me check quickly. It automatically scales and all that stuff? It automatically scales. It, this is 85 hertz. 85 hertz. So basically, your service could run faster than the screen. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. Than most screens. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but in, in France, you are at, you're suggesting people need a fiber. So at the, the beginning, yeah. at the beginning, yeah. only we suggested to be, to have a fiber because we wanted first it was still we wanted to see how the internet infrastructure working to learn to get all the knowledge to be able to assure that we always have the ultimate experience. So. It was mostly the bandwidth and the stability. Right now, we released two months ago, we released a new technology that's basically, it's an AI that's always taking measurement of the quality of your connection. So it will work on any kind of connection from 15 megabit per second. So really, even if you have a DSL, we have a client with DSL that's on the country side of France. We had it's super working super well. Yeah, the great thing is it, it, it dynamically adjusts the uh, to, to the, the bandwidth and the quality of your connection, right? So imagine you're in your place and suddenly someone else is starting to use very heavily the bandwidth. Then the, the stream will automatically adjust so that you don't lose in the, the, the fluency of the stream will remain the same. So, uh, so uh, you hear, you French guys, right? Yep. And you hear in the USA with all these... Uh, U.S. guys, are uh, they coming and saying, oh my God, what are they saying? Are they so, saying, how did you do that or what? Like, it's it's amazing, actually, the feedback that we're getting here. So we started an office here in Palo Alto. Uh, you know, they have thousands, hundreds of thousands of startups in Palo Alto. It's crazy. And like, we thought it would be a big challenge like to really stick out. But actually, like, we're just you, right? showing the idea. It's amazing. How People like fall in love Google directly show the Google guys how it works. Did you do that already? So, okay, I didn't... It's a secret. You don't have <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I'm sure they would love that. It's uh, unbelievable. It's working really, really unbelievable. And you have and a nice server in the Silicon Valley, the same functionality yeah. Yeah. as a French So we're developing okay. now a data center in California. So we will launch uh, California basically on mid-February. And the idea is to get nationwide coverage. Yes, exactly. So, uh, is there any chance that uh, right now it's 35, 30 euro every month for as much as you want, right? Exactly. Are you thinking about day packages or something like that, or you don't care about that? For now, we're more sticking to the monthly subscription, basically. So it's 30, uh, 30 euro per month on the annual commitment. We also have a package of uh, 45 euro per month for three months and 50 euro per month for a. Uh, sorry, I think it's, it's 45. 45. 45 euro for the uh, monthly uh, version. But for the monthly version, and we think in France really we launch the monthly version really to check so people because people were skeptic at the beginning so we wanted to give them the opportunity to check it to test it to see it now we see that 75 percent of our clients switch to the annual commitment so we quite see that the market is confident on the product and they want they don't they know that they will use it for the long term 
but uh, uh, so you are kind of like guaranteeing that your GPU is your GPU or what is that? Exactly, that's each so you, user. You, so you like I said, GPU. what you we're share doing is CPU? not only this box, we are also doing the data centers and we are also doing the servers and we're doing the servers really to have unique configuration of servers that we can give to each user a dedicated resources. So you are getting your own graphic card, your own CPU cores, your own memory, you are not sharing the resources with other. So no matter on which time of the day you will connect, no matter how much users we have in our data center, you will always have the same level of performance. So you, you dedicate the GPU as CPU for everyone? For every user, yes. Exactly. But not everybody is gonna play at the same time. So when you are not connected, I don't mind sharing, you know? when you are not <laughs> using the data center, the resources can go to someone else. But yeah. when you are using it, you're getting your own dedicated resources, basically. That's awesome. And, and it will about, always yeah. be available, the resources. Yeah. You will never have a situation that you are connecting and you're getting a message that there is no and slot you available. And subscribers that, hey, don't worry, we will upgrade your, your hardware in the future. Sure, we will. You're just going to yeah. do that. You calculate all the business is going to work? Exactly. Yeah. That, that's, that's our business model. It's really like to always bring them the latest technology, always bring them that they will be able to run the latest game or the AAA games, and they don't need to care about which hardware they have inside. It just work, basically. Yeah, and you have verified the business model for sure that it's going to work? Like I'm just, yeah, of course. Just saying, because uh, that's awesome. I mean, that's, uh, NVIDIA tried to do something, right? And uh, there was another company that didn't really work. Yeah. We that had so on live and they before that, well, right? You had yeah. yeah, the most famous is on live, right? They were yeah. a company from like uh, eight eight years ago, I think. Maybe maybe even more, maybe ten so years ago. Acquired by somebody and they stopped, or something? they were uh, didn't do so well. At the end, uh, they were acquired by Sony for quite uh, I think for quite a low yeah. price. So uh, why is you why is your server going to work? Because they didn't the do the anything similar, right? Variety of reasons. Uh, uh, we, we, we like to think it's because we're geniuses, part of the reason is also because the networks are so, are so much better than 10 years ago. And so the, any service that requires uh, you know, live streaming from the cloud is really... Uh, it's not only that, basically yeah. what we are doing really, like I said, end-to-end -end solution. So we're really building our server every milestone on the way, we're optimizing to work perfect for exactly this kind of use case. And we see the effect directly that pro gamers can play on it. Everyone, you don't have quality degradation, you don't have latency, and it's really giving you the feeling of a local PC, even if it's a remote one. So that's, that's really awesome. Uh, I used to play games when I was a small kid and stuff, and now I'm 35, I feel like an old guy. So I'm like a video edit, I want to video edit, I want to do video yep. editing. But uh, when you play a game, you're only using all the CPU, GPU while you play. When you stop, you're not using it anymore. But if yeah. I'm rendering, rendering a video for like hours, is that gonna piss you off? Because you, I'm gonna no. be using this, I'm gonna go to sleep, you know? We but all night it was gonna work. Is that okay for you? Our goal is really that you will use it just as a normal PC. Just like you're using your PC, we want you to I be able to use it exactly the same. movie project, you don't care. Yeah. Even though it's like gonna take maybe uh, five, 10 hours of CPU. Exactly. It's okay. Uh, that's fine. It's fine. Because many, not many guys maybe want to do that. Maybe. That's why. I don't know. I don't know if that's an issue. Because you're, 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 it's better for you that people don't use it while they sleep, right? They only, yeah, they, right. They only use it when they're awake, when they're in front of the computer. Yeah, right. We can, we can pay you for doing your rendering at night if you want. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So that's awesome. No need for the fiber. It's ready. Also, exactly. It's ready for any type of connection up from 15 megabit per second. Basically, it's working actually on already from 5 megabit per second, but we want to keep some buffer. So if you have unstable internet or something like that, to assure you that you will always have a good experience. And uh, but so the Palo Alto server can, ser can service all the USA or only so in California? The West Coast, basically. West Coast. The West Coast. So we're so launching it in Seattle, California in now. Diego. Yes, now we're launching in California on mid-February, and the goal is that's to spread, and we're building several other Vancouver, data centers. Okay, until so for now we're really focusing like I said we want to assure the quality so we're really focusing only on California and we're selling only for California the plan is like really to roll out all the US until the summer and on the summer to have a full coverage of the US how about uh, London I live in London can I already connect to the French system or better not you can we're, we haven't launched the UK yet but it should be a uh, very very short very very soon
You don't need to translate the American website to the UK. Is they understand the American English? I think. So, <laughs> we'll same, uh, we'll do the effort of changing the Z to the S, and <laughs> yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. oh. Uh, just the pound sign instead of dollars. Uh, yeah. <laughs> same, same numbers, right? right? Yeah. yeah. The British, they like paying more, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. parity is not one to one yet, so. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, uh, but how about other places in Europe, or uh, are you thinking about Asia? or? So, right now, basically, we're focusing on West Europe and the US. And the idea is that we will be able to grow correctly, so we will really be able to assure the quality of the so service. So it's not going to be only France, for sure? N not going to be only France, Western yes. Western Europe? West Europe. Like that's Spain, uh, Italy, uh, everywhere? Or? Yeah, that's, that's the yeah. objective, right? I mean, we're, we're start, we started with France, we are extending to uh, Switzerland and Belgium. Uh, and it's working good for all these guys, everywhere? Yeah, real, real, really well. Uh, and. So we're going to be expanding to uh, the UK and Germany in the next few weeks or months. It's difficult to and translate to German, I think. I mean, that's just yeah, tra already yeah, tra yeah, translation is kind of ready already. Yeah, it's yeah. not it's the most. Yeah, right. It's very. Uh, the technology you need to think about the, the ping time. Yeah, and the nodes mostly. And the ISP exactly. and the connection right. needs to be good. You have backbone connections and what it, all this yeah. stuff is. Yeah. You have to consider. That's a little, a little market, bit more right? complicated yeah. than just a translation thing. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's so small lag. We have right. an official AS number on the Lirk, so we have our own peering agreement with all the provider, with British Telecom, with Deutsche Telekom. So really, to be able to assure that the quality of the network, that we will be able to reach you, your home, in a very good. Uh, Latency. One product that I like because my website called ARM devices. Yeah. Uh, Snapdragon. They're working with Windows, yeah. and they're doing an LTE laptops. LTE is okay. LTE is perfect. Yes. It's already okay. Yes, we have Gigabit the LTE. mobile uh, version. I don't know if you. Uh, battery is out. Let's That's a Razer phone, out. right? Yeah. Yes. That's the coolest phone. With the ha very yeah. loud speakers. Yeah. When it has battery. Cool. It's a battery now, yeah. so we can so show. So LTE is no uh, is is no lag. There is no lag on LTE. On 3G, you can access your computer. You will be probably not be able to do really gaming on 3G, but on LTE, you will not have a problem. So really, we have people in Paris that's going in the subway, that's playing on their mobile phone. So, so you, should, uh, you should have meetings with many people in here in CS. You should have meetings with Microsoft. Okay, you should have meetings with, uh, you probably already have. We but, already you know. have partnership with Microsoft. You already we have, have partnership with Microsoft, with NVIDIA, with, uh, with Equinix for the data centers, with uh, AMD for the boxes. But they should launch your client by default on every Windows 10, you know? Yes. <laughs> it should be like one of those things. You get a month trial or something, they can sponsor it. Yeah, we'll take some. Okay, I will take a letter. Yeah. I want a letter. Oh, can you get a local SIM card? Yes, one. Thank you. Uh, so that's on the group. So you have uh, lots of engineers in uh, Paris? Yeah, so with every different most, of our, most of our team are uh, engineers and developers. Uh, very, very good ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But actually, uh, yeah. So, uh, and obviously, hiring has been a key thing for us since we started the company. Uh, and it turns out. It, sorry? No. All right. And so, uh, but but it, we've we've uh, we've been lucky enough to have uh, a lot of very good developers uh, willing to join us. They were, and so a lot of them uh, left well-paid salaries elsewhere to uh, be able to work with us uh, because the project is so exciting and because the tech is at the core of it. They left what? Like uh, other jobs they had? yeah, other yeah, jobs they had very to, good, to, uh, to jobs that yeah. they had. They left really yeah. to join us. Like one or two guys. I'm just guessing. One or two guys came from the Google and some Apple guys and some uh, because uh, what are they doing Google in Paris? They, they're just making we advertising have, we or have some, <laughs> we have a donator for the Debian project uh, that's left and. Uh, a guy that was also working uh, for the development of the future soldier for the military of France. Are they all so gamers? A lot of uh, most of them are not yeah. all of them, but they are. They are all very excited about uh, the challenge of the project, and uh, uh, they feel like they're part of something changing in the IT industry. So it's slightly more exciting than you know working for a, a company in which the tech is only a, a side side project. So Intel, Intel, Xeon. But how about the new Threadripper stuff? Are you considering the AMD? Are you considering the? Because some people say it's pretty good, right? 
they have some. Yeah, for for now, we're, for now we're kind of very happy with the uh, Xeon we're using, and so our customers obviously were, you know, our, our pledge is that we're good, we'll be upgrading the thing, and so we have to. It's our duty to try and examine everything that's everything released on the market and uh, to see really. We like to work for our uh, users, so really to test all the technology that's on the market and really fit the one that is and best. And this is just a Pepcom small event here, right? But you'll have a big booth? We will have a big booth at CES. Big booth. We, not a big booth. We, we are on the French tech, basically. We have a booth over there in the Eureka Park. Uh, and we have a suite at the Venetian. And did Macron visit the office already or not? I'm not sure if he's going to be in this year. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. in your office in Paris? Oh, in your in office in Paris? No, not yet. It should be a priority, no? Yeah, for him, yeah. I'm not sure why. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Macron, please <laughs> come to our office. <laughs> yeah, cool.